Monroe Sonic Egg 150 user Chris Porter recently sat down with us at the Hospital Club in London to talk about how he got his first break in the music industry and his collaborations with the likes of David Bowie, George Michael and Take That. How did you first get involved in, in the music industry? Uh, well, about 35 years ago this year, um, I was offered a job as an assistant engineer at Tony Visconti's Good Earth in the, in the West End. Um, and it was a fantastic opportunity because Tony was a really, well, he's still a hot producer now, but he was an extremely hot producer then and um, doing great acts. And um, yeah, I was fortunate enough to be offered a job. Um, and I worked really, really hard. And um, amongst the first things I got to do was uh, work on David Bowie's Scary Monsters which was, you know, an amazing start to anyone's career and of course gets you noticed a little bit. I got to do backing vocals on it as well, which was brilliant. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing start to anyone's career because the kind of talent that walked in and out of that studio during the course of making that album was incredible. You know, Pete Townsend, Robert Fripp, um, Dennis Davies, uh, Bowie himself. And so there was always something new and different and he's just an amazing performer. So it really sort of gave vitality to the, you know, the beginning of my introduction, really, to being in a studio. And how about the uh, Take That collaboration? How did that happen? Um, take That. I got involved, someone asked me to do a remix. Nick Raymond, who was their A&R man at the time, um, who, worked at, who worked alongside Simon Cowell at BMG, RCA BMG, uh, asked me if I'd remix a song called Babe. Uh, which became a hit with Mark singing it. Um, and I got the, the... I'd never met any of Take That at that point, and I'd kind of avoided working with them from the Take That and Party days because I thought I'd been kind of marked out as a boy band producer, and I was trying to escape a little bit from that. So for about three years, I'd, I resisted um, this. But then I, I, I got offered to, to do a remix, and I thought, oh, I'd like to do a remix, that'd be fine. And I got hold of the song and really took it to pieces and I re-recorded the whole thing virtually. Um, well, no, not virtually. In fact, re-recorded the whole thing. And the results were obviously good. We got a number one hit from it. And that introduced me to Gary, um, who was impressed with the way that we turned the thing around and made it sound a little bit more soulful. And um, uh, so we decided to do some more recording, which resulted in some sessions uh, which included Back for Good, which became one of their seminal tracks. Um, and so that started off a fruitful relationship with uh, Take That and Gary, which lasted for quite a long time. 